What's up guys, JB2017 here bringing another Dragon Age Inquisition video and today we're going to be looking at how you unlock different characters within the multiplayer. So right off the bat, when you start multiplayer you have three choices for characters. You have the Dwarven Legionnaire Warrior, you have the Human Rogue Archer, and the Elven Mage Keeper. That's all you have to choose from, but you have these other nine classes that look pretty freaking sweet, but they're all locked. And the game doesn't really explicitly tell you how to unlock this stuff. Now, from playing these types of games, I always assumed that the only way to unlock these new characters was by getting a certain card, by spending coins that you earn by playing the game, and it says contains five random loot items. Maybe one of those loot items might be a character card. However, it's different in this game. You can actually craft the armor for the character that you want to use. So the way you do that is going to the crafting menu, go to armor crafting. And so the first thing that will pop up, I think, is Legionnaire, because that's the first class available, and you'll see these different types of armor. The thing is, these are just different armor appearances. You can tell in the bottom right, new armor appearance. It just has a different kind of color scheme or better looking armor, I guess you could say, uh, for this character that's already unlocked when you start the multiplayer. However, if you click LB or RB, you go to the next character out of 12, the Katari. And if I keep going, the Assassin, the Archer, the Elementalist, the Keeper, all of this stuff. And it tells you in the bottom right exactly what you need in terms of crafting materials to make, you know, this certain character. So. Let's hop back out and show you how to get crafting materials. The main way, I think the only way to do it, is to break down weapons. It's not armor, because again, we just showed you guys, armor is literally what determines what class you're using. So, weapons are the only thing that you can salvage. So this is a different system from the, from the uh, single player. I don't think you can salvage uh, weapons in the single player and you can in the multiplayer. So if I wanted to salvage this Barbarian Maul, I'm gonna do that right now, I got Drake Stone. And so there are three different types of crafting materials. There are cloth, leather, and metal. Drake Stone is a metal, so I just got plus one Drake Stone. So you'll see this is where all of this, you know, salvage breaking down materials, this is where all of it is collected and where you can check it out. So again, let's go back to the armor crafting and say I wanted to make an elementalist. You can tell the requirements are in the bottom right. I'm just gonna go in and click on it. So I need eight cloth, eight, sorry, four metal, and four leather, and then another four cloth. So I don't meet the prerequisite of eight cloth. I only have seven. And of course, as you can tell, you can't mix and match. You can only have, you know, eight cloth of one certain kind. So I need one more silk to make the elementalist. And you can tell on the bottom right, it says unlocks character elementalist. It also says it in the bottom right on this screen as well. So very clearly, this is how you unlock characters within the multiplayer. And all you have to do is keep dismantling stuff that you're not going to use. I mean, right now I can unlock the alchemist, as you could tell. Uh, I'm missing another cloth for the necromancer. I could do the reaver, the templar, the hunter. Uh, you know, I'm close on the arcane warrior. But this is essentially how the character unlock system works. And I like how this works because I don't, I'm not, you know, bound to just getting a random number generator chance of finding a new character. That's how it was in Mass Effect, which was Bioware's last multiplayer mode game. And they kind of sucked. So in this game, they kind of bypass that by allowing you to craft the armor. And I think you can also get the armor pieces from the chests, but they're very rare. I mean, I've, I've gotten a Legionnaire chest, which again is just another armor appearance because we already have the Legionnaire unlocked from the beginning. So anyways, guys, I hope you understand how to unlock characters now. It's very simple and it's not, you know, obvious, but now it is because you watched this video. So I hope you guys learned something new from this video, and if you did, remember to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Also, don't forget you can find more Dragon Age Inquisition videos on my channel coming very soon. Talk to you guys next time. Peace!